Frederick the Great, King of Prussia is remembered because of his extraordinary military knowledge, but also because he was a man of intellectual interests. His court in Potsdam was one of the most important intellectual centers of the 18th century. Voltaire and Lemaitre wrote some of their most important works in Potsdam. But the real love of Frederick was music. He was an enthusiastic flute player and composer, and he knew from the beginning the virtues of a newly made fort piano, the successor from the harpsichord. Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach was the Kapellmeister of Potsdam's court, and Frederick always pursued him to take his father, Johann Sebastian Bach, to his court. Frederick wanted Bach to test his new Silberman pianos. One night when the King Frederick was getting ready to play with his musicians, a court's official brought a list of foreign visitors arrived that day. Gentlemen, old Bach is here. The King quit his concert that night and invited Bach to test his four pianos made by Silberman. Followed by the court's musicians, the King invited Bach to play every piano in the court. After testing several of them, Bach asked the King a theme for a fugue offering to play it immediately without any preparation. The king was astounded. He expressed his desire to hear a six-voice fugue. Bach chose one of the king's themes. He began improvising the fugue with such mastery. He developed the fugue just as wonderful as just Bach could do it. Back on Leipzig, Bach worked over the theme composed by the king and wrote a three-voice and six-voice pieces. He added several bodacious passages in strict canon form. He titled his work, Musicalicious Opfer, or Musical Offer, dedicated to the King Frederick. About 27 years later, 24 after Bach's death, a German nobleman called Gottfried van Sweeten had a conversation with the King, where they agreed about Wilhelm Friedman Bach being an over-the-average musician, but that his father, Johann Sebastian Bach, was even greater. Proof of this was the improvisation of a three, five, and eight voice fugue with the chromatic theme given by the king. Improvising a six voice fugue can be compared as playing simultaneously 60 chess matches blindfolded and win them all. Now, improvising an eight voice fugue is without a doubt far from a common man's capacities. But maybe not for Bach. There is not a certain way to know if Van Sweeten enlarged disproportionately Bach's feet but we can now see how Bach's legend had grown until 1774. The father of music, Old Bach. Did you like our video? Like, comment, and subscribe to ArtCore channel.